Welcome to Career Step Forward. I'm Christiana Beinroth with my online consulting, Azurate. Welcome. This episode is part two of a three-part series called Tips and Tricks on Experiencing Relocation Grief. We talked in the last episode about how when you move internationally, it can be that you experience a sense of grief and loss uh, around the old place that you left, the people you left, the life you left there. And it can be extensive. Even I had one experience where I really, really um, was depressed and had a strong experience of relocation grief. But it can also just be very subtle underlying we are not even aware of it maybe we're just a little more irritated or um, uh, slightly provoked or angry or have no energy and a little depressed or something like that you know it could just be very underlying um, in the middle of everything we're doing now in the last episode we talked about one tip around one tip uh, that we can use and that is purposefully acknowledge the beauty and the good around us um, apart from how we feel and uh, still being true to our grieving process. Now if you haven't listened to that episode I encourage you to go back and listen to it. Uh, I think it's a great tip and today we want to go into two more tips and one would be adding meaning to your day like doing things that have meaning to you and the other thing has to do with just uh, having fun smile laugh embrace humor and so on so let's start with the one topic around having doing things that have meaning to you and um, it, it, this is not about finding meaning in the relocation in itself or why you are in a new location keep that aside maybe more connected with something that has to do with your values what is important to you in general um, so it could be little things that you add to your day like just saying a kind word to somebody and feeling hey that was meaningful um, maybe you see a person who needs help and you help them it could be a, like a three minute thing you know so it can be something really short uh, it can also be more purposeful and extensive kind of like you say hey I don't want to be here but you know what let's just use this time if I'm here anyway uh, and learn a new skill learn a new instrument so detached from your relocation itself because often we have a sense of a loss of meaning because we feel like we should continue our life in the old place but now we, we can't be there anymore we are in this new place and I'm talking about if you have an extreme experience of relocation grief and loss a sense of loss but just to add meaning to your everyday to what you're doing and um, that is actually an idea that comes from positive psychology where you focus more on what is there, what strength do you have, what uh, what can you build instead of just looking to what is wrong, what is not there. So in my case, I didn't have any capacity in that one relocation to build new relationships. I am an introvert anyway, and I just couldn't, I didn't want to make new connections. So that meant what do I do with my time? Actually, what I did during that season, and it really um, added to having some inner strength, I focused on professional uh, development. I made, uh, I, uh, made a master's degree and studied, went back to school and just used the time that way. I felt like it gave my life some meaning and um, it was a very good decision. So look for if you feel down one way how we can build this inner strength kind of like a vitamin booster just purposefully fill your day with things that have meaning to you and again maybe more based on your values what in general is important to you not so much connected to the place that you're in and yeah just uh, add meaning to your life it's a very good trick it's a great thing in general just to watch out that the things we're doing have meaning for us also yeah and um, it adds to the overall happiness 
The next thing is having fun, smile, laugh, embrace humor. Now, when we hear this, it's kind of like, hello, I'm depressed, I'm angry. I, I, you might really not feel like laughing or having fun. And that's totally normal. So what we want to do is we don't feel like it. But let's just on purpose plan it. Um, because uh, put it even in your calendar. Plan those moments where you have fun. And some of you have kids and that I know they can be exhausting. But at the same time, sometimes kids can be a blessing in that sense. Because they have uh, they so easily have fun. I think, and um, their, just their sense of humor. So uh, let's just enjoy any moment we can have around having fun. See what you can choose that works for you, that triggers you to, uh, that triggers your sense of humor, that triggers you to laugh. I love a good movie. Um, sometimes for some people, it's more like just being around fun people or I don't know about you, but like animals, some animals can be so funny and just watching them um, puts a smile on my face and um, uh, just or even makes me laugh or something like that. Kids, again, can be quite entertaining. Um, yeah, so what I would suggest is really just purpose to add those things to your everyday, even if you don't feel like it and even if you can't laugh and even if you uh, don't find it too funny, but just if we are surrounded by that, it just can boost those endorphins, that the endorphins kick in and we, you know, reduce that cortisol a little bit or whatever that is chemically, what's going on. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we are familiar with the success of um, the red clown noses, you know, in pediatric hospitals where the clowns come in and just brighten up the days and, um also kind of nursing homes you have these social events and gatherings and that's all uh, exactly that same idea to just put some joy in our life because it has a healing effect so again it's kind of just like um like prescribed medicine I see it as a prescribed medicine when I do that um, when I use that trick in my life um, because even during COVID now, I mean, there were times when things just got so serious and boring and lonely and just to um, uh, just to put it on purpose in your life. Even if you don't feel like it, um, surround yourself with those things and it can affect you and leave its marks. And with that, you build an inner strength again that helps your grieving process that alleviates the symptoms in your grieving process. Okay, so those were the two tips for today. Add meaning to your life. And again, it can be very little things. It can be something small, like just saying a kind word to somebody and feeling, you know what, my life just had a meaning. It's important. And again, uh, the topic of meaning, uh, mean having meaning in your life is very important for overall happiness in life uh, and now totally detached from the topic of relocation grief it's by itself really an amazing topic adding meaning to your life or having things that have meaning and uh yeah and let's have fun <laughs> let's add it on purpose and yeah that was it for today with those two tips next episode we will talk about three more tips that are hopefully also applicable to you and that help you Again, connect with me on social media or on azure.com. That's my website. You can get back to me. Let me know if this was helpful to you, if it was clear or if you need more information. Also, if you feel like, wow, it would be good to really talk to somebody about your situation where you experience relocation grief or any other issue coming up around just expat living or international assignments, international living, feel free to contact me, look me up on social media and whatever. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Have a wonderful day.